Welcome back at 714. The holidays are typically considered a time of joy, but for many people, they can be a challenging. This can be a challenging time of year. Dr. Brent Wallace joins us from People's Health to talk about mental health and how to cope with stress and loneliness during the holidays. Dr. Wallace, good morning and thanks for being with us. Thanks. Good to be with you. So let's, I guess, dive into that. What is it about the holidays that causes both stress and a sense of loneliness for lots of people? Yeah, I mean, your your mental health really is, is your your emotions, your psychological and your social well-being. And, and so it affects everything that you do, how you feel, how you act, and how you react to people. And, you know, sometimes around the holidays, people can suffer with a lot of loneliness, especially if they're not able to visit with family, you know, or have family to come visit them as well. And so what is the best way to cope with that? I mean, um, we're, we're kind of a little bit out of, not fully out of the pandemic, but doing better with vaccines and so many options available. Um, what is the best way to, to, to cope with or, or combat, I should say, especially that sense of loneliness that people feel? Yeah, you know, loneliness and also stress can be really bad around the holidays. And so there are a few things that you can do. You know, some of the things, if you can't visit your family, make sure you stay connected with them. You know, we've got a lot of technology we can use, video calls we're very good at right now. Um, so it really allows you to connect a little bit better. And then one of the things that's really helpful, there's a lot of nonprofits, local nonprofits, that you can volunteer with. And that's a good opportunity to get out in the community, to enter interact with people and kind of combat some of that loneliness as well. And what if you are the family member or friend who uh, knows that you have, you know, one person who you love, a friend or a family member who can't get to you? How do you make sure that they feel included? You mentioned some of those things, the video calling, what have you, but how do you make sure they feel a part of the family, a part of the friend group, a part of the holiday celebrations if they can't physically be with you? Yeah, which is not uncommon at all. So, you know, if, if one of your family members, if they're not able to come and see you or you can't make it over to them, you know, make an extra effort to reach out to them, make them feel included, you know, get them involved in some activities. You even from afar can identify, um, you know, things that, that one can do in their local area. They can really make them feel a little less isolated and maybe a little bit less stressed around the holidays because holiday blues are real but what mm -hmm. you do need to watch for is if they persist long after the holiday it could be something else going on and i know we've seen uh, recently a, a high profile uh, death by suicide and as we lead up to the holidays people are still shocked by that but again that just talks about how people are feeling all kind of different emotions right now um, and, and it's important at least uh, at minimum to, to check on each other, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, like we were saying, it can be very stressful as well. Sometimes that stress can even be if you've got people to come visit you and you're trying to make sure everything yeah. is perfect and get the perfect gift. So, you know, what's also important for the individual or if it's your family member is if you really do see something, you know, they're really, they're not perking up, they're not interacting. Uh, maybe they're acting a little depressed or having sleep disturbance or really not being themselves. You know, they may need to see uh, professional help and it and it's not uncommon um, you know for people to not want to talk about holiday blues but it is important so make sure you reach out ask them how they're feeling um, make sure that they know that you're thinking about them. well dr. Wallace we appreciate your time this morning uh, Merry Christmas happy holidays to you and your family you too Merry Christmas